Hi there, this is Curious Carly at Jamie Diamond's um, Van Build Party 2018. And I am here with Christopher of Christopher, Tra Christopher Travels. He is um, a new YouTuber and he has an amazing little rig here. So we're gonna check it out. So what inspired you to make, was it Frank is his name? Frankie. Frankie. Um, I love nature and I'm getting to the point in my life where I need to enjoy more of it. So I built Frankie thinking maybe my dreams would come true and then I think they're coming true slowly but surely so I'm so excited. That's yes. great. Can we look inside Frankie? Absolutely. All right. So on the outside, um, this is part of the original Frankie because this is Frankie 2.0 because okay. I had to make it lighter because of my car. Okay. But this is the lap boarding. I wanted to make it look like a house when I would walk in. Okay. So I left the lap boarding on that. So. And then I also built this. Uh, Oh. Barn Dutch barn. door. Barn, Dutch barn door. door. I thought that would be a really... Bardo's, they usually have like a Dutch door or something like that. So uh -huh. I was like, let's do it. I'll try it. Nothing is square or, you know. Yeah. But I did it. So it was amazing. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Well, and you got the pop top. Mm -hmm. And I made that myself. Um, I just have, I tucked it under some angle aluminum and then I, I also sewed, uh, <coughs> so I can have a little bit of netting here and then just the sides are, have Velcro so I can roll it all up when I travel. Oh good, good. And you pull it with this little car here. Yep. It's a Toyota Yaris, so. <clears throat> it is actually decent. I get about 16 miles per gallon still, so that's wow. pretty good. That's so, pretty good. Yeah. So, is there anything else on the outside that? Sure. You, okay. Um, my kitchen sink, of course. This is the pipe that goes down, and I just put a bucket under there. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, sheet metal, so it stays pretty light. It's still pretty light. And magnetic, point. I see with your magnetic. Absolutely, that's the amazing part of this whole side is that I can put magnets up there. And the siding, this used to be very heavy wood on the side. Okay. And I took all the two by fours out and I put the polycarbonate uh, roofing. Nice. And they happen to have gray, so I'm like, yes, gray. I love gray. That's great. So, and then I, I have a water tank in there so that's my fill and then that is coming out to a instant hot water heater that I hang here nice. um, and the propane for propane or <clears throat> actually I have a uh, butane stove okay but that's basically the only thing I have that that would go to is the instant hot water heater okay so right now so we'll see later okay. I might do some upgrades in the future so. And this is just, um, here's the hot water heater here. Okay, for your shower. And then I have some bungees and stuff like that. This is pretty neat, it's very light. Yeah, it's a great toolbox. And the polycarbonate back here used to be the lap siding like on the front. Mm -hmm. But so, you made it lighter. Which was very heavy. Yeah. Now it's lighter. And this is pretty much it. And Deborah Joy gave me these stickers at oh. uh, the Slab City Oscars. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's look on the inside. Okay. I saw Absolutely. that your bedding has cactus on it. Yes, so I found cute. that. It is I love so it. Cool. Hello. <laughs> wow. It's so. I love your cook station. This is great. And uh, I do have running water. <gasps> I love your so, sink. Over and here. then running water, and it. <gasps> That's great. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> so I have to ask how much did it take to, how much was it to build this out? It was probably about <laughs> $3,500 for everything like supplies, trailer, and little things like that. And, 
Walmart it was my best friend okay. for like yeah. <laughs> the shelving. So perfect. And uh, how how long did it take to build this out? Um, about eight months. Eight months. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, Frankie, this Frankie, the lighter Frankie, I spent a couple months just changing a couple things and. Okay. Yeah. This is my pantry. It's got some like snack foods and foods and my cooktop is a butane fuel single burner and it does really well and actually since it's such a small space sometimes I use it for heat as well so um, and this is some of my appliances like I have like a percolator and stuff for when I don't want to use my coffee pot which I can use my coffee pot on my inverter and it's great. So it's a lifesaver. So this is like, um, I actually have a um, shower curtain because if you see up here, there's some line and I can actually hang it. And I have a tub that goes right through the floor to take a shower inside. So that's pretty neat. I don't know how I came up with that, but I'm like, I need to figure something out. So, um, and my water tank is back there on the bottom. And that is about a 12 gallon tank. And then my utility tub back there for my shower is back there as well. So, and then my cute compost and toilet. Um, it has like a little door. Let me see. <laughs> and I found this really neat rock handle at uh, Michael's, I think, uh, Arts and Crafts or whatever. So I just built that. And it has like a urine diverter and stuff, so everything's separated. And I thought it would be really cute just to make it cozy enough with the uh, carpet walls and yeah. so the sides up here are just my catch-alls I just throw stuff up, up up there and I have some more storage here with my vacuum of course <laughs> so who doesn't need a little vacuum and these are my uh, dresser drawers so I just have my clothes in there and of course everyone needs a junk drawer so you have a junk drawer there I wanted to talk about my solar and my battery setup so on the roof I have a 280 watt solar panel and it goes down into a 30 amp charge controller I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this And then, of course, there's a little um, remote there. Let's see what's going on. So that goes down to two batteries. There are two 200 amp hour batteries. Oh, wait. And they're sealed lead acid batteries. And those go and power my 3000 watt inverter. And everything is a 12 volt system and it's just easier for me i'm not really as advanced doing any like 24 or 48 i think 48 volts might be like home setup but the 24 volt i'm not really sure of so and then it powers everything i need i bring a laptop on the road um and stuff like that i also have a wi-fi antenna that i use sometimes so that's pretty much it and my comfy bed it's like eight inches of foam and my beautiful duvet i found on ebay it just has really cute cartoon like cactus on there so and it smells good because it's got the cedar walls which is also light for the build. 
So are you planning on going full-time? What's the plan? I do want to go full-time. I was a dispatcher for the last couple couple years and there they laid us off so I'll be able to go full-time from now on. I'm a little nervous but I'm also trying not to think about what am I gonna do next? How am I gonna get money? So I'm gonna kind of play it by ear and just roll with the punches and see what comes my way because I've done everything in the world from being a nanny to mechanic work to um, driving heavy equipment construction I've done everything so we'll see what comes my way and how's your life changed since you've hit the road oh man the friends and the people I've met are it, they're just like amazing they're life-changing it's made me such a happier deeper person knowing that there's other people out here who care about you and who want to be by your side sometimes and travel with you and just enjoy life actually live life to the fullest that's my motto you know that's what I say all the time live life to the fullest what kind of adjustments did you have to make was it hard to adjust to this small space well I'm very small I'm very short so it didn't take too much adjusting um, although I do have to sleep a little diagonal into the bed but it's not much of a it's not that hard to do but no I didn't I love small things you could my car is very small before this car I had a 2007 Toyota Yaris so I love small things so it wasn't it, I fit right in <laughs> What do you think uh, about what do you think it is about this lifestyle that makes it so unique makes the people and the experience so unique pretty much you're free to do the things you want to do and you're not controlled by anybody and you just follow your own little path so without the influence of others if you don't want you know the influence of others but Basically, you're free to do whatever you would like to do. As long as you're respecting everybody else, it should be fine. <laughs> <laughs>